how to use the new pattern feature in Photoshop 221 with brushes. You can see a design here. That's obviously a very, very basic design thing. But you've got this pattern preview, this pattern tile here. Well, you can use it via the view menu. So view and pattern preview. So I'm just going to now just going to remove that. So say like pattern preview, I'm going to turn it off. And suddenly you can see that's the actual pattern. Now all the rest is the duplication out from that. So seamless tile, there's no, no breaks. And you can use most of the brushes, not all the brushes. You will see if you can't use them, it will suddenly pop up with a little panel saying, you can't use this. So just going to start completely from the beginning now. And I'm just going to zoom in a bit better there. Now to do it, simply go to view. Now, just before I start, let's go to the brushes. So you've got the brushes here. Now I'm using the art pad and pen. And if I apply brush strokes now, I just go like that. You see what happens. It doesn't. So you've got like a design there. If you go over the edge, it's not duplicated. Just that's it, it just cuts off. However, go to now, let's go back to a complete fresh and then go to view and pattern preview. Now what happens? Come up with this panel. It says pattern preview works best with smart objects. Well, unfortunately, smart objects, as much as they're good, are not very useful when you're using brushes. So you can ignore that as well. Of course, it works best with smart objects, but it also works with brushes. So click OK. And you can see this outside bit is now anything you add to. So I can add outside as well. Slightly more complicated to decide where it's going to be outside, of course, because you're, you haven't got that sort of the tiles all the way around. I'm surprised they didn't do that. Would have been nice, maybe a red in the center and then blue for all the tiles. However, they didn't. So just apply. And you can see when I had that dot just then, you can see it's duplicated there and duplicated there, duplicated. It's right close to the edge. And of course it would be, there was another block there. It would also be applied there. So if I, it's quite easy to make them there. I just apply it like that. You can see it's duplicated over that bit there and it's duplicated down there. So it's nice and seamless. Now, this is not much of a pattern, most useless pattern ever. However, what you can do, you can go to edit and define pattern. You can see that pattern then is just stored away. So you could use that pattern. However, of course, you can apply it more than that. So if you apply it a couple of times, but as I said, you can actually apply it outside as well. It doesn't matter. So if you do it like there, you can see it's, so if I just go all the way back there and just add it just there, you can see it's added down there as well as there and there. So you can do it outside, it's just, just easier to use the tile. So you can just apply it like that. And of course you can change the colors. Now, of course, you could spend hours making a much better pattern than this. This is not much of an amazing pattern design. You could see and create design like that. Uh, maybe make some curls there. And you can create all kinds of complex designs like that. And now if I actually zoom out now, I'm just gonna just quickly zoom out. And then and you can see your pattern just duplicated over and over again. Now, sadly, there's no feature in Photoshop sort of a mirror effect and all those sort of things. There's a limited set of patterns, basically that. That's it. However, you can, of course, use patterns in fills. So you've got fill and random scripts and those sorts of things. So you can actually use them, for, but this is really best just for the standard like pattern layers that you would have via the layer and new fill and pattern. So that's the best sort of thing for that. So if you want to now, you can go to edit and define pattern. Click OK, and that's stored away. So if I go and create another document, well, let's go, don't have to do that. I can go straight back to the start and then maybe zoom in a bit there. And what I can do, as mentioned, layer, new fill layer and pattern. Click OK. It takes a few seconds to process. And then just go down there. And there's that pattern that I've just defined. So there's that design. Now you can move it around. That's a seamless design. So you can see your pattern. And you of course can angle it. You can rotate it around. It takes a few seconds to process. 
and maybe go for scale, so 25. So you can see your design there. Click OK. Now, what you can also, like I say, you can go and use any kind of brush, but there are limitations, especially if using, try and use this. Use the symmetry. It will not allow you to do it. Now, I'm not certain why. Personally, I think the symmetry should be allowed. The fact that it uh, doesn't, it's not going to be symmetrical, obviously, because you're going, to be, you're going to have repeated patterns. It doesn't really make any sense to me. However, that's what they've decided. So, so I'm just going to apply some more. Now, I'm just going to go to brushes. And I'm just going to now randomly select one because I'm going to probably find that some, now that one does, that works nicely, but what you can do, view and pattern preview. And this is another feature that's quite slightly annoying is that if you go back to a fresh document, pattern preview is not on. It doesn't keep it on. It's actually stored in the history panel. And basically when you go back, it loses it. That's slightly odd. However, okay there. Now you'll find sometimes, and that one obviously does work, I'm also going to try it, have difficulty finding one now. But there's a number of brushes, and I'm just going to just randomly select a brush in the hope that I will find one where, yes, found one. Ooh, it's a bit of luck. Comes up, symmetry painting and pattern preview are not supported with live tip brushes. Now, there's obviously some feature there with that that doesn't seem to make, obviously works, doesn't work well with pattern preview. So literally you have to go back otherwise, or just turn it off. I'm just gonna go back to a, one of the default brushes there and select that. But that's what happens, it pops up. Now I say, if you go for here, if I go for this option, and I'm gonna do it from Manta, and set that to five. And then, well, you notice view pattern preview, and it will come up with the exact thing, and it's removed that. So it doesn't allow for symmetry, which I think is slightly disappointing. I think that's uh, most odd because I think it still should be symmetrical, and you know it will still go over the edge and will duplicate on the other side. So I can't see why it shouldn't work, but it doesn't. So you can create all kinds of amazing designs, but there are, pointing that out, limitations on this. Likewise, of course, with gradients. Yeah, gradients you can use, however, the result is not, and I'm gonna do that in another video. So you can see, you can create some awesome looking things. And like I say, just go through a whole range of different brushes. I'm just gonna go for a bigger brush than that. And of course you can use other brushes as well. So I mean, obviously using the standard brush tool there, brush tool, but you can use art history. See, art history won't work. So if you try art history, obviously it's gonna fail anyway, not supported by this tool. However, say go to pattern stamp. That one's not supported as well. I suspect clone is probably not as well. And I'm just gonna go look for another one. Just go for that one, smudge tool. That one's not as well. So literally you are really down to probably, let's go for mixer brush. Surely they should allow that. Yes, mixer brush does. So you can actually just apply it and you can still see. So that's useful, I guess. It's, uh, and there might be of course limitations, maybe some of the wets or dries, etc. may suddenly throw up a similar sort of message. I just wanted to point out that uh, it's not, but you can also, like I say, Mixer is, is a good one as well. So you can create some unusual designs there. And again, always what you can do, edit and define pattern stored away. And of course you can, and I'm using this type of brush, but you, there's a lot more complex brushes you can use. So legacy brushes there, just go down there. There's a whole range of different brushes. Some, I say, work. Some, you will find it will throw up an error. So there's a circle brush there. Let's push that up a bit higher than that. And you can see when you're doing that, the design is duplicated over there and over there.
But anyhow, again, not the world's greatest pattern, I would have to admit, but it's still showing you some of the features that can be used with this new pattern preview and brushes. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always adding new tutorials about Photoshop. Obviously, Photoshop 221 has just come out, so uh, I will be running through a lot of those. Also, Affinity Photo, Affinity Designer, Illustrator, Creative Cloud, Critter, and quite a few other ones as well. Painter, just trying to think of the one. Painter as well. So please add some comments. If you've got any comments, what things have I done right? What things have I got? Also, issues that you found with the uh, tool. Maybe you've gone to it and found that things don't work. Please put some comments. I mean, it's always great that people put their feedback of what things work and what things don't work with this new uh, feature. I think it's an amazing tool. Very, very useful. Something I've been hoping for for ages and ages and ages in Photoshop. So uh, I'm really pleased, even if it doesn't have all of the features that I would love to see. It's nice that they say moved it on to have that feature. This is great. Also, a dislike or like. Be great. And also, thank you much.